This year I did the toy run with Sylvia, Alex and Reese. Alex and Reese were on Alex's superbike and Sylvia joined me on my motorbike. The plan was to go to the blockhouse and from there join the other toy run riders and go all the way to the Benoni Northern Sports Club and uh, have a look around, grab something to eat and drink, uh, see what the vibe is and then uh, on the way home do one or two geocaches. We were met at my house and uh, saw the arriving time, we suited up and then headed out towards the blockhouse using the highway. Through Galudis. Through the Haldanese Interchange. through the Alberton Interchange. Each year I get my wife to go to the local hospice store, get some teddy bears that I can put on the bike and uh, donate some money to the hospice. Uh, Silvio gets a educational toy and uh, between the two of us uh, there's something nice and something educational. Get off the highway, turn around, and back on the highway to the blockhouse. expected a lot more bikers by the time we arrived so either we are early or it's going to be a bad turnout we went to get something to drink got the fluffy toys which my wife got for me from the local hospital store out the top box and put them all around the bike as with all good bike runs we were called for a briefing we had this annoying gyrocopter flying overhead so some of the briefing was not heard properly some people even waved at the guy to go away but he did not. We were set to leave at 10 past 9 and from 9 o'clock we started to enter the on-ramp onto the highway to get ready to leave. Uh, we re left right on time.
looking at the bear on the front of my windscreen, I decided he was not bound down well enough. So I got the tape out which was close by and taped him up a little bit more. Ten past nine arrived and we were on our way. Here comes the gyrocopter overhead. And one of the very few bridges where there were lots of people waving at the bike is going past. Yeah, the gyrocopter is flying overhead again and it made for some awesome scenery. more people on the bridge
through the tunnels where the Supis rode their bikes. Onto the N3. Through the Kaludi's interchange. A bit of a bugger up at the N12 airport highway split. No cops nor marshals in front, and some people went straight, and some like us turned left. And then at the Edenville off-ramp, the same thing happened. Some people turned off the highway and some went straight. And then the cops appeared again. And another bugger. Bikes that have been doing 80 km per hour on the highway have to squeeze through one by one in the yellow lane before we're going to turn left. Why the cops just did not let the cars go through and clear the road, I don't understand. And another bow. Cops let the cars go through while we as the convoy 
have to stop and wait uh, until the one cop car came past and showed the other cops that we had to go, we had to stand and wait. Here I was slapping the hands of the kids next to the road and thus I did not see Alex and Reese come past. Second last corner. Last corner
into the park and here we stopped and waited and see if we can see Alex and Reese coming in little knowing that they had passed us already on the road As you can see, lots of nice looking bikes. Alex contacted me, told me where he had parked, and we went to where he was. Each year I buy a pin, Sylvie so buys a pin and t-shirt. We go walk around the area, we have a look at all the stalls, uh, we decide where we're going to have something to eat and have something to drink. We have a lack of chat about geocaching and motorbikes and then afterwards we go do one or two geocaches on the way home. This year we completed a series that we started last year as we forgot to do two of them. The tournaments are for me one of the must do events each year. As always, I have a lot of fun and thoroughly enjoy it. Looking forward to next year.